How you can get anything you want. How can I get the universe to give me fucking anything I want? Now, I wrote some things down. <clears throat> I made some notes. I'm going to share with you. I wrote, everyone's looking for the code breaker, right? Everyone's looking for the control panel, the magic button. That one technique, there's got to be that one technique, the code breaker, the trick that's going to make it happen. I just got to push that button, right? Now, this video that you're watching is about techniques, more or less, but not in the way that you would think, right? Because it's about how techniques don't cause manifestation. You do. You are the machine. This is going to take effort, sort of, right? Sort of. It's mental effort, okay? There's no code breaker. There's no control panel. There's no magic button. You're it. So you got to stop looking for signs. Maybe. Signs aren't bad but I think people focus too heavily on those. You can look for signs, but you've got to get out of this externalization mindset that it's going to happen. It's happening to me. It's being done for me. How do I know I'm the chosen one? How do I know I'm special? It's going to happen. Oh, lucky me. I got picked. It is happening to me. No, you're the cause. You're the cause. That out there is the effect. The magic button, the techniques, the control panel, right? That's what everybody wants. It's this externalization. You know, all the videos that you see talking about the three simple steps, right? The three simple step videos and all that kind of woo-woo stuff. Three simple steps. The fact is, you've got to change. You're it. You're the machine. Now, techniques are not bad, and I make videos talking about techniques, but I want to be clear about this. Techniques are tools, but you're the machine. Sometimes the machine, you can use tools to work with the machine or to fix the machine, right? It's like a set of car keys. Is it a tool? Well, not really, but it's a key. You're going to use it to turn the machine on, right? But you're the machine. You're the machine. I just want to add that the changing the direction the wind is blowing, right? Changing the direction the wind is blowing, it's going to happen, right? This is an analogy. Really what you got to do is change your sail. You're on a boat, a sailboat. You got to change your sail. You know, old sailors from the old world, they sailed all around the whole world, right? The first guy was Copernicus. I think it was Copernicus. Pretty sure. And um, it doesn't really matter what direction the wind is blowing. I mean, maybe if the wind is blowing hard, but. You can move the sail and get the boat to pretty much go any direction you want if you know what you're doing. And that would sail all the way around the whole world, either direction, doesn't matter, right? If you want change, you got to change. Now, that's really good news, guys. I got to tell you something. This shit works. This law of attraction business. And guys, if you look in all the ancient texts, it's everywhere. The Bible, the Quran the Bhagavad Gita, right? The Gilgamesh, right? Sumerian texts. It's embedded. It's embedded. The ancient Hermetic teachings. We live in a participatory universe, right? This really does work, guys. This is how you can get anything you want. You are technology. Isn't that cool? Think about this for a second. You could really change everything in your reality. We could change the whole world. We could. We could. Now, you can watch my free YouTube videos. And again, like I said uh, recently, I'm going to be posting a lot more Law of Attraction videos. And I think we're going to go deep. 
I think we're going to go deep. But guys, if you want an unprecedented, thorough, and no bullshit, like everything that I got, I'm going to throw everything at you teaching an e-course. It's not a lot of money, guys. Sign up for my Manifest Your Dream Life e-course. It's inexpensive. It's very, very thorough. I give you everything in exact measured steps that you can take activities. How do I deprogram? How do I identify my unconscious habits of thought? How do I do that? How do I reprogram myself? Because if you reprogram yourself, your outer world changes. You're the cause. The outer world is the effect. So sign up today, guys. It's really, really good, really comprehensive. And then you can talk to us when you're done. Now back to this business about how to get anything you want. Guys, you already are getting what you want. It's just that what you want and what you say you want don't match. Think of it this way. Here's an analogy I always use. Somebody who says, I'm tired of being broke. I want to start making some money. How do I do that? I want to make some money. And then they say, and, and right off the bat, let's just start there. The first thing that they said was, I'm tired of being broke, right? So you're telling the universe, I'm broke. And you know the universe matches your energy, right? That's how that works, the law of attraction. If you tell the universe, I want... The universe gives you the experience of wanting. That's really how it works. You have to change what you're being. You have to kind of coax it. You've got to trick the universe into thinking that you feel like you're rich. Really? That's how you get that's that's what you do. And it's it's actually not that hard. You can reprogram. You can. Now, somebody who says, I want to make more money or whatever it is, I desire more money. A couple days later, maybe they see somebody that does have money and they forsake that person. Yeah, that, those rich people, you know, those guys, they should be giving away their services. You know, screw those guys. Like, who do they think they are going around town with all this money and buying all these expensive vacations and, or, or, Maybe you start a business to make the money and every time you charge somebody money and they give you the money, you feel guilty. Like, oh, am I allowed to take their money? Well, shit, man. You go grocery shopping. It's like three, four, five hundred bucks. Ha! Groceries are getting expensive, right? So you, it's three hundred bucks or whatever. You're giving the store money. Do you think the store feels guilty? No. And that's why the store is there making money. And you're not bad for doing that. I'm just showing you that. I'm just showing you this unconscious habit of thought. It's stuff like that that you have to learn to identify, right? You learn to identify those things. And you look at your unconscious habits of thought and your habits of emotion too, like feeling guilty for, for taking money. And now you know why it seems like money is hard for you to make. And people often feel justified taking money or making money, even just earning a paycheck at a job. They feel that it's justified if they hate their job. Like, I'm taking the bad for the bad, right? I'm taking the bad for the bad. Guys, you don't have to live like that anymore. You don't. There's no code breaker, but the good news is, yeah, this really does work. That's the good news, guys. That's how you can get anything you want. You really can reprogram yourself. You don't focus on what's out there. You focus on what's in here. You can't do anything about what's out there directly. It's indirect. It's indirect. You change this and that changes. And it takes time. That's what my video last week was about, right? It takes time, but it does work. You can change your life, guys. You can change your life. Now go watch my other Law of Attraction videos. Find me over here on this platform. Look at your screen. If you're not right now, look at this. You can find me over here. We're going to be talking about the Law of Attraction 
and conventional relationships over there a lot, guys. So check it out. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.